क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन रिवॉर्डिंग ऑफ समथिंग रिटर्न और स्पोकन इज अ ए पैराफ्रेस ऑप्शन बी पैराडॉक्स ऑप्शन सी पैराडिगम ऑप्शन डी पैराफिन द मीनिंग ऑफ पैराफिन इज फ्लेमेबल इट इज अ फ्लेमेबल सब्सटेंस इज कॉल्ड पैराफिन ऑप्शन सी पैराडिंग मीन्स इट इज अ पैटर्न ऑप्शन सी ऑप्शन बी पैराडॉक्स मीन्स इट इज अ डिफिकल्ट अनसॉलबल थिंग वी कैन से पैराडॉक्स एंड ऑप्शन ए पैराफ्रेस a rewarding of something written or spoken rewarding rewarding not rewarding rewarding again wording the thing which is spoken or written is called paraphrase and uh, everybody is know this paraphrasing means writing the words again which are with your own sentence is called rewarding so question number 42 out of the following four sentences select the most suitable sentence with respect to grammar and usage option a i will not leave the place until the minister does not meet me option b i will not leave the place until the minister doesn't meet me option a and option b means the same does not doesn't are the same things option c i will not meet the i will not leave the place until the minister meet me option d i will not leave the place until the minister meets me and if you have already watched my video on a sentence correction this will be like an easy question this will be like a very easy question for you to solve and if you look at it clearly in the option 1 and option 2 it is already given that will not in the starting thing and in every question every option will not is given in the starting thing and in the second sentence there is no need for again saying does not doesn't so since it is already given since uh, the not already already is mentioned in the sentence the agent not will not come again so option a and option b is, will be related and speaking about option c the minister is a singular person i will not leave the place until the minister meet me it is said that here until the minister meet me for a single per singular person singular person we have to use singular verb only for a singular person we have to use singular verb and a singular verb is always will always end with yes so see the option look at the option d in that the verb is ending with s yes, and here the verb is ending with just t so this is not going to be the answer meets will be the answer because for singular verb singular person singular verb will only come option c is not singular form option d is in singular form option d will be the answer the event would have been successful if you dash able to come if you option a is r and uh, r denotes a plural form and uh, they if the the concerned person says that if you would have able to come you is a singular form so plural not come r is not the answer and option c have been also is an past plural form plural form in past is have and option d would have been the thing here also have comes and this is also a sin plural form so if uh, a singular form u is mentioned there you must use only a singular form so the answer for this will be option b had been had is a singular form so question number 42 there was no doubt that their work was thorough what is the meaning of thorough here thorough means all everybody know thorough means complete so option b is the answer question number 45 with someone dash with someone else mail account is now a very serious offense very serious offense option a involving option b assisting option c tampering option d incubating here incubating means protecting generally the word incubating is referred from the birds the birds incubate their egg eggs hen incubates their eggs means it protects its uh, egg in a uh, consistent temperature so incubant means help so helping others email is not a crime here so option d is eliminated when you look out option a involving involving is uh, in uh, involving in other email involving in, uh, the word involving in used uh, is used only in involving in problems so you can't uh, involve in others mail how can you involve in other mail you can only 
he can't involve in others means so option a is wrong option b assisting assisting means helping assisting also is a, just a providing assistance so assisting others may is also not an effect the, the third word is tampering the meaning of the word tampering is interfering so there is a vast difference between interfering and involving interfering means you are moving into and uh, it's something like uh, using that thing using the thing without his knowledge involving means using that thing with his knowledge so interfering is the answer question number 46 the bacteria in milk are destroyed when it dash heated to 80 degrees celsius so option a this thing is in uh, present perfect tense option a would be would is, would is a generally a past thing so option b will be option c is option d was was is also in past and uh, here the bacteria in milk are destroyed when it dash heated so they are just heating the milk not the bacteria and milk is a corrective noun here so you have to use a singular verb here <coughs> so in singular verb in present is only one thing is available the answer is yes and uh, if you didn't uh, understand this concept singular verbs and uh, things you have to rewatch my video which is already uploaded in the website and let us move on to the question number 47 although it does contain some uh, pioneering ideas one would hardly characterize the work has the word although is given in the starting although is a, a negative prefix negative word which is already you guys know pioneering means new although it does contain some pioneering ideas although it contains uh, pioneering ideas one would hardly characterize the work as uh, work has dash is the question and option a is innovative innovative is already uh, innovating meaning meaning is new new and the word new is already comes in the form of pioneering pioneering means also new so a new thing is uh, hardly characterized by something as new thing so a new thing is a new thing hardly characterized means not characterized so a new thing is not characterized as a new is a new the word is not forming option a is a wrong answer option c dull option d boring so obviously when it is a new thing it is not going to be dull or not going to be bored so these options are out of order option b simple means a, a new thing which will be hardly considered by someone as a hard as a simple thing new things are generally hard to learn like a new habits are generally hard to develop new things are also hard to learn so one would generally cons hardly consider this as a simple means everybody will consider it as a, as a hard thing is the thing they are coming to say here so for question number 47 option b is the answer let us go on to the question number 48 his face dash with joy when the solution of the puzzle was dashed to him so let us know the meaning of here shown and shown here these things are called as homophones we have already seen the concept of homophones before in a subtopic and some main topics the meaning of shown is showing the meaning of shown is it is the past tense of shine so his face shown with joy his face shown with joy means here it is an expression his face which is shown must come we will think that if it is an expression so his face is showing joy that is not the right thing here his face shown with joy means his face shined with joy so instead of saying shined it is as shined in the past tense as shown shown with joy when the solution of the puzzle was shown to him so after the solution of the puzzle is showed this so his face shine these are the things in a present so if it, it is given in present it will be easy for you to understand because the pronunciation uh, differs for the past and present tense of both things so option uh, a is the correct answer question number 49 
it is no surprise that every society has had codes of behavior however the nature of these codes is often dash so uh, let us read the options option a unpredictable option b simple option c expected option d strict see, see here the option d strict strict is a known thing each and every society will have some rules and regulation and those rules and regulations are going to be strict in each and every society to maintain discipline among people so it is obvious that uh, strict is a known thing and uh, they are not going to mention it again here again because it is no surprise that every society has had codes of behavior however the the nature of this codes is often strict they are not going to say strict here and uh, consider option b and c simple expected these things are like uh, positive things of the sentence so these are not going to come and unpredictable if you keep the sentence unpredictable there it will be a good option because it is no surprise that every society has had codes of behavior so they are saying that it is not a surprise that each and every society is going to have a code however the nature of this code is often so the nature of this code you just leave this all this option one nature of the code of a single society for example uh, you take the diversity of language between the uh, we indians the codes of a tamil people will not be generally known by the codes of a telugu people because the two states are separated each and everything will have different codes so the codes of a tamil people will be unpredictable to a telugu people and the codes of a telugu people will be unpredictable to the tamil people so unpredictable will be the correct answer question number 50 the driver applied the brake as soon as she approached the hotel where she wanted to take a break so in the second blank break means in the second blank break means she is going to take rest so the term hotel came here so obviously one would go one would one will be taking rest in the hotel so here the break means rest will come in the second blank so see the options having break as the second option option 1 and option 2 obviously have the second option and the driver applied the break so applying break means the spelling of this will be break the thing which is present in the car so this is this is the thing and we have solved the 50 questions which are uh, given in our vj academy website these are the gate previous year solved questions the several previous year questions and now we are going to solve the current year question of gate 2020 so let us read the question of first set a and let us go to the second set b next question number 1 it is a common criticism that most of the academician academicians live in the dash so they are not aware of the real life challenges so it is clearly it is clear that they are criticizing about something so criticizing about academicians academicians live in their dash so they are not aware of real life challenges so these people are not aware of their real life challenges so what will be the appropriate meaning for this homes if they are living their homes is there any uh, thing uh, uh, they are da, da, not aware of real life challenges not actually in this thing you have to fill a place and the place is called ivory towers what is the meaning of the place ivory towers it means the academicians are thinking that they are very high, living in a high standard and they are ignoring the real life challenges so this has become a criticism so option b is the correct answer second question his hunger for reading is insatiable he reads indiscriminately he is most certainly a or an dash reader so here most people think that these things are in negative form but these things are in absolute positive form about the reader his hunger for reading is insatiable 
here, here they are saying that the person is very eager and very wanting to read something. So it is a positive point that he loves reading. He reads indiscriminately. He just reads continuously. He is most certainly a dash reader. All round reader, precocious reader, voracious reader, wise reader. If you look out the options, most of the people uh, who don't know the meaning of precocious and voracious will mostly think he is an all round reader because he is reading continuously and obviously he is not going to be a wise reader because uh, wise readers means uh, they are like uh, people who read with uh, blueprint or uh, blueprint that kind of stuff stuff they are uh, thinking they have to get uh, they have to get marks by reading wisely is called wise reader and when he has hunger to read he is not go obviously going to be a wise reader and uh, all round reader all round reader means and uh, before seeing all round reader let us see what it means by precocious and uh, voracious reader precocious readers mean advanced reading in advanced manner and voracious reader means reading like reading like uh, he is the only person who knows reading um, just uh, i can't express my words clearly he is very very eager to read is the thing given here and if you look out the options uh, the things mentioned are positive in the passage and the, the options given voracious will be the correct answer so let us go to the third question select the word that fits the analogy fuse fusion use usage is the claim here when you look this out clearly fuse means fusion fusion is a process like that use means you have to find something in the manner of process and uh, obviously option d is not the correct answer most of the people think d is the correct answer there is no word called fusion so it is wrong use sir is also wrong because in the first analogy it says that fuse it didn't it didn't say fuse sir it says fusion it is a process so you user is also the wrong answer users is also the wrong answer users means the benefits or advantages like the thing and usage use is to usage here usage is also the similar form of fuse is to fusion so let us move on to the next question this question is asked in the second part afternoon session of the gate rescue teams deployed dash disaster hit areas combat dash a lot of difficulties to save the people so if you have already watched my video on the, the preposition which i have said in sentence correction thing you would obviously be clear where to use in the first blank we must use which thing which preposition so rescue teams deployed dash disaster with areas combat dash a lot of difficulties it is not going to be at a lot of difficulties to a lot of difficulties it is going to be with a lot of difficulties because with a lot of difficulties people hit combat areas will come so see look at the options option b and c only will with, with is having within the second place and rescue teams deployed with the disaster they are not deploying with disaster they are deploying in disaster so option b is the correct answer here let us move on to the second question uh, look out clearly nowadays most children have a tendency to be little the legitimate concerns of their parents legitimate means <coughs> rules and uh, laws of their parents so be little you have to find the meaning of the word be little here most children have tension tension tendency to be little it is something like a negative thing the legitimate concerns of their parents so it is a, they are talking about the today's trend of uh, children to underrate their laws for, formed by their parents so the correct meaning of the under, underrate in the below options may be upload is not a correct answer because upload means it is like something like uh, appreciating reduce also if uh, most of the people don't know the thinking that be little the dad will be meaning will be reduce and they take the reduce as the correct answer but reduce is not the correct answer and option a disparag is the correct answer it is the correct meaning of the word be little and option question number 3 partial is to impartial popular is to what is the claim here 
and you, if you look out clearly most people will think that popular is to impopular will be the correct answer but it is the wrongest thing you are ever going to do in your lifetime i am saying uh, this is what i am saying but because there is a uh, there is nothing a word called improper the answer will be unpro unpopular i am sorry un impopular there is no word called impopular it is unpopular so we have solved all the get previous year question papers of verbal ability Thank you students.